I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on polar curves. Now we will discuss how to find equation of tangent lines. The equation here is find the equation of tangent line to the curve r equals to cos 2 theta at theta equals to pi by 4. Now whenever we say equation of tangent line it means we are looking for something like y equals to mx plus p, right? So that is what we are looking for. And now here, we need to find slope m, which is dy dx. And we also need to find the point. Correct? We are given the polar coordinates here in the form of r theta. So we are working in polar coordinates f of r theta and here we are given r equals to cos 2 theta. Now for theta equals to pi by 4 r will be equal to cos of 2 times pi by 4 which is cos of pi by 2 which is 0. Now since r is 0 and we know the x and y coordinates are what? x and y coordinates. If you convert this to the point in x y coordinates, Cartesian coordinates, in that case we know x is r cos theta and y is r sin theta. Now, if theta is equals to pi by 4 and r is equal to 0, then both x and y are 0. So, we are working at the origin. So, the point is very clear to us and it is at the origin. So, we are trying to find equation of tangent line to this curve at theta equals to pi by 4 which also happens to be the origin 0, 0. So I hope this part is absolutely clear. Now that really helps to visualize what you're trying to do. Correct? Now let's get back to the question of finding slope now. So if I get the slope, I get the straight line very easily. So to find the slope dy dx, we have r equals to, let's rewrite, okay. So we'll rewrite what x is. x is equals to r cos theta, r is cos 2 theta, right? So let me write r as, uh, we'll write r as cos 2 theta again. So we have r cos theta, that is to say x is cos 2 theta times cos theta, right? Now, if I differentiate this with respect to theta, I'll have to apply the product rule here, right? So, so from here, we can find what dx d theta is equal to. Applying the product rule, derivative of cos 2 theta is minus 2 times sine 2 theta. And we get times cos theta plus derivative of cos theta, which is minus sine theta, right? So we get minus sine theta times cos 2 theta. Correct? So that is what we get. Now, <clears throat> uh, uh, let us find this derivative at theta equals to pi by 4. So we have dx d theta, and at theta equals to pi by 4, substituting the values, what do we get? We get minus 2 sine of uh, pi by 4 times 2 means pi by 2 cos of pi by 4. This becomes minus sine of pi by 4 and cos of pi by 2. Correct? So you can always uh, use a special triangle 
to get the exact values. So pi by 4, as you know, is a triangle with values of 1, 1, and square root 2. So let me write this as 1, 1, square root 2. So substituting, we get sine pi by 2 is 1 and cos pi by 4. Uh, let's write like this. So we have minus 2 times sine pi by 2 is 1. Cos pi by 2 is 1 over square root 2. Correct. And here cos pi by 2 is 0. So we get 0 here. So that is the result which is minus 2 divided by square root 2 or equals to minus square root 2. Now let us calculate the value of dx d theta. So we know y is equals to r sin theta. So doing the same thing r is cos 2 theta times sin theta. Now if I take the derivative with respect to theta for y Applying the product rule, I get this as minus 2 sine 2 theta sine theta. And uh, derivative of sine theta is cos theta. So it becomes plus cos theta cos 2 theta. Now dy d theta at theta equals to pi by 2, pi by 4, pi by 4, the values will be what? So we'll substitute pi by 4 again. So we get minus 2 sine pi by 2 times sine pi by 4 plus cos pi by 4 times cos pi by 2. Now this sine pi by 2 is 1 and so minus 2 times sine pi by 4 is 1 over square root 2 cos pi by 2 is 0 so we get plus 0 and here also what we get here is minus 2 divided by square root 2 which is again minus 2 so clearly from these two values which we just found for dy d theta and dx d theta we can write that the slope dy dx will be equals to dy d theta divided by dx d theta which is minus square root 2 over minus square root 2 or just 1. So the slope is 1. So now in our equation of the line what do we have? Now in this equation y equals to mx plus b we get m as 1. So the equation becomes y equals to x since m equals to 1 and b equals to 0. Correct? Because the point is the origin. So y equals to x is the equation of tangent line for the given condition. So I hope it is absolutely clear. Perfect. Now let us add cos 2 theta is a rose flower, right? It's kind of a rose flower kind of like this right now it has got these four petals and what we are trying to say is that at this origin the line is kind of like this so that becomes the uh, the polar diagram curve with the green color showing equation of the line y equals to x right so i hope the concept is clear uh, feel free to write your comments and share your views. This is exactly symmetrical actually. The diagram is not that good, but it gives you an idea. If uh, we are working in 2 theta, we have got 4 petals. n theta will give you 2 n petals. So that's interesting about this particular function r equals to cos 2 theta. I hope you enjoyed and learned from this very simple equation derived for the polar curve at theta equals to pi by 4. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.